Um, we've got approximately three gallons of water here. So we'll put in the chemicals first. They are, they'll just turn everything white. Uh, move that trash can so that you really hear the sound. I found in the dollar store, yay, little measuring spoons and the colors. So we have, you know, which is very cool. So what do I want with the soda? Okay, two and a half. And that's the, what is that? This is the soda, soda ash. ash. Yeah. Now, will wash, washing soda do? Yes, but always keep in mind that whatever you do with something like this, if you try to saw, settle for something that is the real chemical, you will get a, a, a less of a reaction and you'll need to use more. So yes, you can use, uh, everybody asked me that, yes, you can use washing soda, but make sure it has no added ingredients. A lot of washing soda now, because it is used for washing, has been each added. Not a good thing. Now, is this the so kind of soda ash you would use in a swimming pool? Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Same stuff. And thiourea dioxide, which is what takes the place now of, of, um, of uh, urine, it'll actually, it's a color remover. It's, it's what Vit and the others uh, used to have, uh, would have in it if they weren't still using sodium hydrosulfate. And um, it, uh, it takes the place of urine because uh, so we don't want to play with urine. Does it still smell? Oh, yes. So, um, but not unless really we had bad. the Boy Scouts of the weekend before really yeah. and had a big bucket. <laughs> well, okay, here's a, here are the legends. There are, you know, they're always around. Uh, there was the one where uh, the, um, uh, you have, you do, nine-year-old boys have all been fed on parsley for a month. Yeah, that was parsley. <laughs> I mean, a bunch of kids would be running away from home, right? Or you, of course, have to have the ubiquitous virgin or Fido or whatever. What really happened was that the gentlemen in the taverns were, allowed, were uh, asked to go out back, use a barrel, and the, 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 the ta tavern keeper then sold that barrel full of urine for the usurious sum of two pence a barrel. And there's a whole polemic written about it at one point uh, to the city council because the bartender had already gotten his pay for that. That's true. Yeah, that's right. So, you know, and I'm sorry, oh, I guess you're pretty right. If you think about beer, you don't buy it. You only rent it. Yeah, exactly. And um, it was known, by the way, uh, so you can tell who frequented the bars, uh, the taverns, is it was known as Musketeers for Fear. <laughs> okay. So, uh, again, you what? use only the stuff for what? these. You're not going to use anything else over there. It is All right. tangled. Here we go with the indigo. Uh, yeah, Come here, because you want to see this. It's really pretty. It's freaky or pretty? Yeah, pretty. Well, pretty. well, anyway. Um, and that is, um, you know, so hold it up. You want to use too. Now, the weird thing about this in the first place is it's going to look blue going in when you stir it. Uh, it'll have a blue bubbles on the top, green underneath. This is one of the few that oxidizes rather visibly. Other dyes actually oxidize, but not, um, not like these do. And here's, you get a metallic on the top. Mm. It turns green. Mm. And you can see it's starting to turn green underneath. Mm -hmm. See this? Yeah. It goes underwater. <coughs> That's the water. And you, uh, so. Now, all of the books say don't get any oxygen in the pot because that uh, actually uh, makes it oxidize faster. It does. However, don't drive it crazy either. The, the Africans use, um, uh, make dye pots. Uh, is, is, oh, are we, are we on, still on heat? Yeah, turn it on. And um, they use, um, they, they just um, uh, uh, leave, uh, leave the pot open all the time. So you can do one or the other. Uh, just right now, look at the green. Mm. I think it's more important to put brown indigo than it is with, yeah. uh, with uh, indigo crystals. Now you'll notice now that what we ended up with is on the top. We, this is called flurry, uh, or flower, or scum, whatever you want to call it. And so basically, what this is is the unabsorbed pigment. Yes. And please um, uh, uh, look at my purse or wherever, and get mm -hmm. uh, bring me a cup drop. So basically, this is your pigment. If you put everything down through here and bring up the pigment, 
uh, you will leave spots on your um, thing, on your uh, cloth because it will actually act as a resist. We actually act like, act like a big spot of paint. And when you wash it off, there'll be a lighter color there. And so you don't want to do that. In medieval times, they, they took this off and they, uh, okay. I took this off, I'm on a medication which dries me out, and they dried it and sold it to illuminators. Oh, it's made this beautiful mm. blue, oh, like and if they yeah. were dishonest, they told their patron it was ground up black as well. So, anyway, yes. <laughs> now, um, the idea of, of what you now look underneath. Oh, it's turning different colors. It's mostly glam. Mm -hmm. That's a healthy vat. Um, and yes, it does smell not nearly as bad as urine, so don't worry about it. Now, you can do things like dampen a paper towel and put it on top and uh, um, take it off and throw it away. Or you can do like dampen a silk scarf or something like that and do on top. And then because now you've got the, the pigment with your gloves on, you rub it all in. And, mm. so, let, me, let me give you one. Now, you all get to help, you know, do things like stir and so on if you want. And by the way, each time you stir it, more bubbles will come up. It sounds like a self-defeating thing, but what you do, first it won't even be noticed on yarn. And so you just look for the little spots and, and rub them. Um, it's only if you're dyeing one piece, one color. Very difficult to do with natural dyes, by the way, because you're not throwing them in the washing machine. You can, but you'll regret it. Yes, please. You will never clean indigo out of a washing machine. <laughs> It hides in the little crevices and corners, and when it gets a chance, it will drop indigo in on something else. Usually, something you wanted to keep white, which is really annoying. Now, we're going to dip some of this off because there's a lot of it. Oh, yeah, sure. And, and do you save it? Uh -huh. Well, I, I generally just set it aside, and people can see what happens. So now we, the turquoise is not unfortunately something you're going to be able to die with, but it is the transition between this blue on top and the green underneath. So. You make some really cool, yeah. absolutely <coughs> one of a kind cotton quilt squares, and then uh, you can do a, you can do that, or you can make a, a really spiffy jacket out of it. Strip it out, do strip piecing, um, you know, and make a make a quilt for your grandkid, whatever, you know. Uh, make a doggy, it doesn't matter. Uh, the thing is that uh, everybody loves this kind of thing. Go up the there we go. Okay. Now, you're saying that this is dye that has not dissolved. Right. It is. See, uh, what if you yeah. use like a whisk to get it? You can, to... but indigo is actually not a dye. It's a big dye. Uh, it is. This is why it's used so often in, um, in um, illuminations, because it is truly a big And it's one of these rare things. And, okay, this dye has been going on for over 5,000 years. How the heck did they discover this mm. worked? Especially the urine dye. We have a theory. We think that somewhere back in time, the weeds had just grown up around the camp. And the lady said, no more sex until you get all the weeds out. <laughs> so they, of course, with this instead of set to. Now, they've got this big pile of weeds. They're standing around discussing whether or not to set fire to it or what. And they're drinking beer and peeing and talking. And they suddenly realize, hey, this stuff is running blue. Who knew? And, you know, so who knows? I don't know. Just, you know. <laughs> but, um, big old smile. <laughs> there we go. That's my new thing. But, uh, yeah, so, um, and uh, since I'm, I'm ready to die, whoops, gloves. Gloves <laughs> over here. And they're all large. Sorry about that. Ow. So, um, um, what? <laughs> so put on gloves over yeah. here. And, because um, you can't. Right so, okay. Pot. There's a reason why medieval indigo dyers or wood dyers were known as blue nails. Yes. It will, because, you know, the nails are basically a character, it will actually go into your nails. Yeah. And it'll take about three weeks to wear out. It will help a little. Can you find our soap? It will help a little if you do not soap your hands first. Alkali, soap, alkali. Okay, so you literally set it on your hands. Rinse it out, 
in, you know, he's going to give you a, a rinse bucket. Rinse it out in with cold water first, 